Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, early evening. Welcome. Another exciting community update. Uh, so happy Friday. And uh, we have a really light, uh, light meeting agenda today, given Imagine All Week. Um, as you can tell, probably from the participants on the line, half the team, I think, is out just in Imagine Recovery. So um, today, I think we just have Stephen's update on TOAST. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, help wanted tickets uh, and where the team is kind of looking for contribution. Uh, and then unless there's anything from community members that are on the line, uh, we'll, we'll wrap up. You unplug it? Go for it. All right. This works. First time I'm trying. Will it share automatically? Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Okay, um, so I'm just going to show off the toast that I've been working on for the last week or so. Um, if you're not familiar with the toast, there, there are a pop-up that will appear. It's sort of like a notification. Um, so we worked with UX and they and got some mockups and basically implemented them. Um, the API is still sort of in flux. I'm working with Jimmy right now to refine that. So I don't want to get too much into the code and how you use them. Or I mean, I can show show how I implemented it right now, but that could be a subject of change. Um, and of course, uh, I have a PR open, and you guys can check it out if you want. Um, it's twelve eighteen. And it has, uh, I'd love feedback on, on the code here. It's, it's pretty heavy PR, but, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. So the, the toasts that I added right now are um, an info, a warning, and an and a, a error status toast. Um, they're dismissible or they're not dismissible. You can duplicate as if, like, you can emit toasts multiple times, and uh, the order shouldn't change. So. Um, it's kind of hard for me to demo all that, but basically what this, what you see here is I've removed the timeout, so basically they're not going to go away automatically. Uh, but if I have that in there, they would time out automatically, even if they're dismissible. Um, so what happens is uh, some component somewhere will use the toast actions, and it will. So these are hooks that we've implemented in Peregrine, and you can just any of your functional components can just call add toast with some props that it expects. And, uh, and it will calculate whether or not it's like an identical toast. So for example, if you have an error that's repeating over and over, uh, it would only show one toast rather than, um, rather than like fill up the screen. Um, but uh, uh, there's a small animation that happens too. So if you notice, there's like a blink that kind of happens when the toast appears, or if it duplicates, it'll blink again. So this, dupli this toast is emitted three times. And these are only emitted once. So if you watch that again, I don't know if on the screen it's bandwidth is there to show the, the blinking, but it blinked once on, on addition, then it blinks twice. Um, and these are in order by time too, which is kind of cool. So like this toast was emitted first, then these were emitted, and then the duplicate was emitted. But kind of like a user experience uh, thing, we didn't want the duplicate toasts on the second emission to pop to the bottom. So there's some. Uh, complex code in there that's that I had to do to make React um, play nice and re-render a component uh, and thus re-triggering the CSS animation. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I can pop over to the code real quick. So in the root, there's a context provider that gives access to um, to the store or the state of the toast, which is just a list of toasts uh, that have been emitted. Um, uh, that's what the toast container component does. So the toast container component just grabs that list of toasts from the, from the state, and then it iterates over them. It does some ordering, but based on that timestamp. So this is all display logic. That's why it's in this display component in Venya. Um, and then it just renders that list of toasts it creates. Um, is the toast itself, uh, which isn't that 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 important? It it, ha it sets up the dismissible and the action callbacks, um, and then these are the actions. I was trying to get to where is my component that emitted it uh, online. So um, so one thing I can show you is there's a there was an online offline 
notification that would happen in the app before. And that was sort of like this red green banner that would pop down right here, if you remember. So whenever the app would go offline, it would pop down with the notification and say you're offline. Uh, and then when you go back online, it would change to green. Um, so I worked with Somia and we came up with a new design, which is like a toast gets emitted. So first it tells you you're offline. Uh, that actually just won't go away, I think, because I disabled it. But um, And then it shows the icon up at the top. And then if you go online again, it shows a toast that says you're online and the icon goes away. And so all that, ha all that happens is in the online indicator component over here, um, based on the status of the app, we, if we're online, then we emit the online toast, and if we're offline, we emit the offline toast. And it's as simple as that. So, so I'm hoping to keep this API pretty straightforward so that when you're implementing this in your, um, in your own components or you wanted to uh, add toast wherever, it's, it's super easy. So, um, so that's toasts. And if you have any feedback, I, again, I'd love it on, on uh, the PR. Do you notice that for whether the message is the toast is the good message, the neutral message, or the negative message is all smiley faces? Oh, for my uh, yeah, those are my. Uh, We're just smiling through all the years. I'm very happy. I only use the smile icon for these uh, these demo toasts right here. So <laughs> this is the code that I use to emit those toasts that you see initially, and they're all happy. Yeah, all some happy. action links. What's happening? Something went wrong. Heavily medicated. <laughs> toast smiling. Yeah. I'd be happy to not work on toast anymore because it's starting to lose meaning for me. <laughs> what is toast? Um, any questions for Stephen? Comments for Stephen? Awesome. All right. Everyone's excited. Everyone's excited. For oh, Friday. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me really quickly. For the board. So it's a quick update on Help Wanted Tickets. We talked about it during the last uh, community update two weeks ago, but uh, obviously we're, we're marking tickets as Help Wanted. Uh, the majority of the tickets right now are, are really focused around bugs and bug fixes. Um, I would say if you're a community member and you're looking to contribute, that is a great place to start. But also if you're looking for something heavier that you want to take on, we of course welcome that contribution and uh, whether it's Peregrine work or Toast work, um, you know, if you're looking for where you can help, feel free to reach out to any member of the team. Uh, and we can definitely hand you something that uh, is worthy of your effort. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have a few. We have a few tickets and ready to start. A few bugs, of course. I, the, you know, we don't see a community member wanting to pick those up. We'll just pick them up ourselves. But um, great places to start. And then in the four brimming column, column as well, there are some help it. So you can filter. On help wanted if you have Zen Hub and see those issues. But that's really it for I think that update. Be. Anybody else have anything they want to demo, talk about, questions they have? Yeah. All right. Easy going Friday then. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, so thanks everybody. Uh, unless you have a question on the line, uh, I think that's that's it for today. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Break! Thanks. Oh. I know we need like a, a gong. Uh, don't bring.